end, which is November and December. And I'm going to say, give me the percent change and the dollar change. Okay. I'm going to name this one a comparative balance sheet. I'm going to copy that. And then I didn't run it. Let's run it. There it is. And let's get, get rid of that looks good. Let's go ahead and customize or save customization. And so now I'm going to say this is going to be comparative balance sheet report number three. And we could go on, I could keep going. And obviously, I would also have income statement reports I might be dealing with back to the first tab reports, run it or refresh. So the point is, I'd like to pull these three reports now into my management report. Let's see if we can do that. We're going to go to the first tab again. And I'm going to run this from 01, 01, 2, 3, 12, 31, 2, 3. I want to hit the drop down, edit this thing. And I would like to then go into, there's the uh, table of contents. Da -da. I want to go into the reports. So instead of these two reports, see if I, I'm going to, I'm going to, let me, before I delete them, I'll add a new one add a new report and this is going to be boom on the drop down we're going to say now i'm looking for the custom report so there's the custom report right there so i'm going to go boom there's the one i want there's the custom report i'm going to add another one and say that i want the other custom report so there's the custom reports number two and so i'll add that one and then i'll add the next one and we're going to say do, 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 custom report number three. So I'll go ahead and add that. And then I'm going to delete the other default reports. Delete. Uh, I said I said delete, didn't I? Delete. The profit and loss. Delete. Okay, so there we have those ones. And then I might go in and edit it so I can get rid of this first bit. Month in reports number one. So if I hit the drop down. And the title, I'm just going to delete this end piece so I can just get the title. And within here, you might even be able to run reports with different periods, even though the default is the month end period. But let's go ahead and, and save that. I'm going to go into the next one and say, let's make this the balance sheet. Just balance sheet only. Do, do, do. And then this one, we'll edit that one. And we'll make it the comparative balance sheet just for the there. Okay. And so I'll do that. And so that looks good. And then if I go to the next page, we've got our ending notes. So let's preview this and take a look at what it looks like. So now you get this nice little report. Again, not a lot you can do to the title page and stuff, but it's a nice little title page, right? And it get, it's better than just attaching like, like if you had 10 10 forms that you're adding and you didn't put them into one pdf it looks more messy so this at least looks cleaner by putting it all in one report you've got your table of contents and i've able to trim down the name to what i want and i'm able to pull in the reports that i want that have i have memorized so we're combining together the concept of memorizing reports and then pulling them uh, in here in a systematic way, which we could do that pretty quickly from month to month, quarter to quarter, year to year. And then we have our balance sheet. You can see it looks a little bit different in formatting. This is the summary balance sheet. Then when you just print it to a PDF, I think, but it looks pretty nice. And then you've got your, uh, this is the full size balance sheet. So this is the full balance sheet. And then you've got your comparative balance sheet. So there we have it. And then we've got our ending page. So that works pretty well because this looks nicer to email. It would look nicer if we give it to someone in a OneDrive. Any way we provide it, I think it would look better than a bunch of reports that are not tied together in any way. And also definitely a bunch of reports that are kind of out of order. Obviously, in practice, we would add more to this, not just balance sheet, but reports, but income statement reports, equity reports, and possibly sales reports and whatnot. But uh, we're just focusing in on the balance sheet right now and just giving you an idea. Now, where does this report system fall short? Well, you can't you can't do much customization to the to the intro page and and the and the title page and and that kind of thing. All the